Alright, so welcome back to GabGreenRiver.com, fly tying tutorials. Uh, it's getting to be cicada time out here. And for the cicadas, this is one of my personal favorite flies in the elk hair wing version. Um, I just call this Johnny Cicada, it's Sparger Cicada. What I'm doing is I'm starting some 6 aught black uni thread on a size 8 dry fly hook. Uh, I'm using a Tiemco 100 right now. Get my thread nice and started there. I'm going to take my thread all the way to the bend. Bring it back just a touch. All right, now I'm going to take some foam. This is 3 mil black foam closed cell. I'm going to cut this into a little taper. Then I'm going to hit it with a cigarette lighter. A little flame seals the pores just a little bit. Also makes it a little soft and malleable. Run my fingers along it, round those edges off. Take a little super glue, put it right at the bend. Couple three wraps, get it nice and secure. Bring my thread forward to just about, oh, about right there is good. A little more glue. Do the next little segmentation. About three wraps, bring it all the way up to about a little past quarter. Again, more glue. All the glue kind of keeps the fly from rotating on the hook at all. Makes it nice and secure and it makes it so that this fly can take a lot of fish before you need to replace it. Okay, and I've just pulled forward to the head, one right behind the eye. You don't have to worry about crowding the eye on this guy. Rotate that foam just a touch. Now I'm going to tie in my underwing. What I'm using is a rainbow flashaboo. Uh, it's yeah, flash blue rainbow. Pull off a handful of strands. I like to do this in long stretches, that way I can tie multiples in each sitting. Take this, point the short ends forward, measure out my wing. It's about right, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to do a little extra trimming after I tie it in. Three good wraps. Pull my flash back. Wrap it the rest of the way in. Bring my thread forward. Now I'm going to trim off this wing. And now for the overwing, I'm just going to use standard elk hair. Take off a little clump about the size of a pencil eraser. Clean it out, take the under fur and any small guard hairs out. I'm just going to take it into my, hat, my hair stacker, stack it. Then we have some nice evenly stacked elk hair, elk hair tips. One more brushing. Measure it out, make the tips of the elk about even with the flash. One, two, few nice wraps forward with the elk hair. Now I'm just going to trim off this excess. Take my super glue, put a little layer of super glue down right on the trim tips of the elk hair. This again just makes so the flies nice and bulletproof. Make sure that wing doesn't come getting plucked out mid fishing trip. 
fold that foam back and kind of a bullet head tie in that bullet and trim off the extra foam now I'm going to put in my legs for my legs what I use is a black with red fleck silly leg and then a single chartreuse black barred silly leg I think it's a good color combination if you look at a live cicada, live cicadas tend to have a little bit of green on them so this is just where I throw a little in for good flavor you can mix and match your color combinations on your legs as you wish um, it's just a combination I've been using for a while and it's been good to me so put those wings, those legs together a couple wraps on that side, bring them around I like to keep it so if I got the green on bottom on one side, the green on, the greens on bottom on the other side too. It doesn't come out that way perfect. It's no big deal. About three wraps. Position my legs a little bit. Trim them off. And just you know, fish your scissor tips through the wing. Clip that loop in the back. Brush it out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna throw in a couple good wraps there. Quick whip finish with my hand. You can use a whip finishing tool. I just find this is a little easier. And then for one last bit of insurance to make sure this fly won't get destroyed by a fish. I'm going to add a little super glue on the underbody. A little super glue everywhere the, the thread and the foam come in contact. And there you have it. This is the Johnny Sparker Cicada in an elk hair wing. Great fly. Catches a lot of fish and it's really easy to tie and does not come apart very easily.